Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are we all doing? It's your boy Fusion, and today I'm giving you a rough guide of how to get a world record on Origins No Perks. As I said, this is a rough guide. You don't need to do this on exactly the same round, but this is typically where you want to try and be at. You don't again, you don't have to specifically be on these rounds, but it's it's a rough goal. So nonetheless, we're going to get straight into the video, but if you do go and enjoy this video, then please do leave a like if you want to subscribe as well. And also put those post notifications on, all of that good stuff really does help me out. And, you know, like I said, your guys' support recently has been incredible. I want to say a big thank you to you all. Much love. Let's get into the video. So first off, round one to three, you roughly want to get about 4,500 points. On round one, you want to knife them all. And on round two, you want to grab the double points that you get from doing the generator. And you want to do eight shots to the leg and then also knife them. Uh, this will roughly get you about 4,500 points. Again, it doesn't really matter if you get lower than that. If you can get higher, that's, you know, obviously even better. But 4,500 is a rough kind of estimate of where you want to be. You also want to grab the shovel and head to specifically generator two. You will find out later why. Round 4 to 5 is typically your money making time. You want to grab the MP40. You want to roughly try and get about 5,000 points uh, by the end of round 5. Again, doesn't matter if you do. Doesn't matter if you don't. But obviously the more points, the more helpful. On round 6, you want to have the shield built. It's pretty simple. Um, the, the shield is basically going to be your lifesaver pretty much. It's like having Juggernaut really. Um, you can you can basically sustain more hits, kind of. What will happen, obviously, uh, within the within the strat that I'm going to show you later on. If you turn around, um, the zombies will be able to hit your shield and not you. So basically, it's your protection really, and that's going to help you survive for longer. Also, in round six, you want to have the lightning staff built. This is only a temporary thing. You're not going to be keeping the lightning staff. We're actually going to be going for the ice staff. Uh, but the lightning staff is kind of your temporary, again, kind of protection. It's going to be able to kill the zombies and keep you nice and safe. The way I do this is that it's it's very long. Some people may, may say it's unnecessary. Probably is. But this is the way I've always done it. And I've always found it safer this way. So, build a lightning staff. And you're going to be temporarily keeping this. Also on round 6, of course, you want to have most of the map accessible, including the middle section, if you can. Uh, it doesn't entirely matter if you don't have it open right yet, but maybe around round 8, that would probably be a good time to at least have it open. Uh, so round 7 to 9, basically all you need to do is just survive. There's not really much you can really do at this point, uh, because unfortunately the snow is not going to be coming back for a while, and you do have to protect yourself against the panzer which he's probably your main threat during these kind of rounds uh so around seven to nine you just want to kill the zombies and you know use the lightning staff on the panzer it's going to be really powerful against him uh typically probably five six shots may kill him um possibly less if you are really accurate that's all you really want to do get a couple of points and kill all the zombies between seven and nine and also the panzer uh, so it should start snowing probably around 9 or 10, possibly 11. Uh, so if it does snow, then you need to grab all the ice staff parts. And like I said, you should have most of the map accessible. So you should be able to get every single ice part. And also, you should be able to build the ice staff as well. So go ahead and do that. On round 11, you want to get all the upgrade steps done for the ice staff. Apart from the last one, which is the soul feeding. So then you head on to round 12. You want to feed the ice staff zombie souls. Grab the clay moles as well, uh, Semtexes, and if you can, monkeys. Now, I did struggle getting monkeys, unfortunately. Uh, I think I got them around 16, maybe 17, uh, which is fine. Like I said, this is just a rough kind of guide. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, so if you can get the claymores, semtexes, and monkeys, of course, claymores and semtexes you can buy off the wall, uh, so perfectly easy to get them. Uh, it's just the monkeys that you've got to worry about. Now, this is optional. I've not done this in my strat. You can get the G strikes, but obviously that makes your, you know, game a bit more risky because you've then got to do all the upgrades and stuff like that. Whatever else you have to do for it, I've i can't remember doing the g strikes i can't remember exactly what you have to do i do remember one step which is cleaning the stones and that's pretty much it 
you can you can go ahead and get g-strikes if you want to but monkeys will do perfectly fine at the end of the day the monkeys are simply to save your life and make things a tad bit easier for you um you don't necessarily need them to kill once you've grabbed that what you want to go ahead and do is you just want to go to the location that i'm at i'm going to show you how to get there and also you'll be able to see that there is a door closed keep that door closed i cannot stress that enough the reason why it's closed is because no zombies will come through that door with this strat you need to get as many zombies kind of clumped up together in order to get as many kills as you can within a charge shot and we're actually going to head on to that point now here's a couple of things that i want you guys to know only use the three charged shots don't use the six only use the six if you see a max ammo or if the panzer is going to land down as well obviously the six shot will last a lot more longer and so what you need to be doing is you need that six charge to be able to kill zombies but also you need to use the the pack punched mauser which is what you're also going to need uh to be able to kill the panzer as well now if you think you're gonna go and get hit make sure to turn around so that way the zombie hits the shield rather than you this is why the shield is so necessary because it's gonna save your life also alongside that if your shield is broken or nearly broken what you want to go ahead and do is lay the shield down at the end of a round by the way do this at the end of a round and go ahead run and get a new shield now the thing is i built my shield at generator 4 only realizing that recently um only i only realized this recently that you can actually build it at gen 2 at the bunker uh so you can go ahead run get that there and yeah what you want to do is that every round you want to place the claymores down as you'll be able to see that i'm doing right here uh, again this is kind of extra protection if you need to you know move backwards those bunch of claymores are going to be able to kill the zombies as well. And on an insta-kill, you want to use the Semtexes when it's safe. Now, the Semtexes have a large blast radius, and that's going to be able to affect you. So just make sure that you keep a safe distance from the Semtexes as well. If a max ammo does spawn in, I would highly suggest walking backwards into it. Um, obviously, you get a rough idea of where it is first, <laughs> so so you know where it is, you know where you're going. The reason why I say walk backwards into it is because, again, you've got a shield that's going to be able to protect you. If you go straight into it, likelihood is there's going to be zombies that are going to kill you straight away. And just remember, you've got two hits and that's it. Two hits and you're dead. You don't go down, you're dead, because you don't have quick revive. So... I suggest walking backwards into it. If you do see any max ammo, it doesn't matter how much ammo you've got, grab it. Because believe me, if it gives you one extra clip, believe me, it's so worth it. Because unfortunately with this strat, your ammo goes ridiculously quick. And I'm going to be honest, it does require a bit of luck as well. Any max ammos you see, grab them, because again, an extra clip could save your life, and it's definitely saved mine as well. When you see a max ammo, always chuck every single monkey, that way you can attract every single zombie away from you, and you'll be able to grab that max ammo more safely, really. And if you want, you can grab nukes if you think they're necessary. They do help, um, but I don't... If, if it's putting me at risk... I'm not really going to grab it. Anyway, near enough, that's pretty much everything from what I, from what I know. That should be everything uh, that you that you really need to know. Uh, like I said, use the strat. It's gonna be it's gonna be up on screen now. And basically, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna show you my world record. Uh, or I should say record that I got. Um, I did get fourth in the world, which I'm very happy about. Um, so yeah, fourth. Fourth on Origins, no perks, round 64. I'm going to show you a bit of footage as I usually do at the end of this video. But thank you to everyone that watched. Um, enjoy the footage that I'm about to show you. And uh, yeah, much love to you all. Enjoy. There you go. Because of the zombie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. It's only however much per round, of course. I'm 
Timo, true, very true. Never more will you feel the warmth of the sun. No. Damn it, man. He caught me. He caught me. Ah, oh, dude, no. Ow. Ah. Uh, damn it. Ah. Uh. Not complaining, though, man. Not complaining. Third. Third in the world, man. That's uh it's crazy stuff. Uh 25 people up in there. Thank you all so so much. Thank you to everyone that's that's been up in there. Third in the world. It's not too bad. I'm not complaining. Really not complaining. That's insane. <laughs>